just letting you know there has been some really wild energy um, whilst I have been doing other videos sat here. So there you go. <laughs> I'm just something called the reunion has just popped up on my phone and just started speaking. So if that's not some energetic thing about us coming together, that's wild. That's that. With so just really these orbs are crazy, right? <laughs> Hello, my name is Lucy Davis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to let you know, there's been some really wild energy and I don't know what this light thing is about because there was no light above me, but I don't know what this is about. <laughs> um, but I'm just letting you know, there has been some really wild energy um, whilst I have been doing other videos sat here. So there you go. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm in the middle of nowhere and it is extremely, extremely powerful energy. So ladies and gents, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have no words as to what is going on right now. I don't know why I look so pink in the face either, but it is what it is. Um, ladies and gents, it is so good to be back with you. It's only been a couple of days since I've put a video out, but we have the November energy obviously starting on the 1st of November, and we also have new moon, which is gonna be super, super spicy. Now, before I go any further, ladies and gents, I have started the most amazing Facebook group and I am going to go live on Monday or Tuesday. So that's the 28th or 29th of November, uh, October. So really, really, really soon um, to kickstart this abundance that I am here to really help you guys create. So I came up with an idea when I was in Australia and um, so much has channeled through me. And there's two programs. One is about abundance and one is about relationships. So I decided to start with the abundance first. I decided to put a waiting list out. And if a certain number of people signed up for it, I was going to create a group. The people were signed up within a couple of days. We've created the group and we are really starting to get things going. But because I've been on the road, um, I've just allowed the group to build naturally. And I am going to kickstart things really strong in the next couple of days. So if you are somebody who's a bit like, you know what? I'm not quite living my best life, then please do check out the description field of this video and let's get this show on the road. Ladies and gents, you can't keep moaning about it if you're not prepared to do something about it. So let's come together and let's really create these shifts that we all deserve, right? So ladies and gents, this video here is about the new moon that is happening, like I say, on the 1st of November. Now, again, I like to get these videos out sooner than I have done um, for this normally, but I've been on the road and lots of, I've got so many excuses for you. Um, but the fact of the matter is we are well in the new moon energy now. We are well in the November energy as well. So um, it's, it's going to be a big period of time this month, next month, and into the first couple of months of 2025. I cannot believe I'm saying we're about to step into 2025. So ladies and gents, if there is ever a time to focus on you, it is now. The new moon is on 111, which is a super high frequency, as we all know. If you are in conscious conversations, you will remember that I did some very important work in Malta um, earlier in the year, I think about June, July time with this frequency. And now it is the time that we get to utilize that work. The best thing about this happening on 111 is the fact that it really does offer us guidance from above and, and the knowing that we are not alone, that we are really coming together in a big way now and we are going to be supported by all of the other realms. All that we need to do is trust, have faith, and we will have the protection and the support that we have all we all know is there but we're all craving and we are all looking for in a really beautiful way now what support could we have there is a much bigger plan at play here ladies and gents now some people really get this in their soul people like myself like we just know it doesn't make sense okay. i don't know what that was about something called the reunion has just popped up on my phone and just started speaking so if that's not some energetic thing about us coming together that's wild with the 
angels and whatever, then I don't know what is. So I'm just letting you know, ladies and gents, there is something really interesting that is going on with my phone here. And I'm absolutely loving it because I can't think that there's anything better than to get a sign when I'm talking about angels and UFOs and other realms than a validation of that there is going to be a reunion. So you heard it here first during the month of uh, November 2024, there is going to be a reunion. (laughs) You're welcome, ladies and gents. Wow. So the 1st of November 2024, New Moon is really asking you to invite reflection. It is asking you to really go inwards and take some time to deep dive into every area of your life. If I was you, I would get a scrapbook, I would get post-it notes, and I would really look at every area of your life and get focused. Be honest with yourself more than you ever have been and go deep. So the November energy that I put out just a couple of days ago um, is so intrinsically linked to this. Now, I'm going to keep this video as separate as I possibly can, um, but please do go and watch that. So if you haven't already watched it, please do. Um, And if you have already watched it, then just remember that this is additional bits that are coming in. There might be a little bit of overlap, but I have done my best to remove anything that I felt like I'd spoken about previously from the channeling. So... The November energy update is out. It's been out a couple of days. Please do. I'm going to link it here, whether it's in alignment with right now or not. Who knows with me? Um, but I am going to link it back to this video. So there's a convenient just click click box for you to be able to do that. All right. So um, new moon is going to be bringing everything up to the surface. Like we are in a massive cleaning period. If you are decluttering your home, well done. You've got the memo. If you are on a massive clean out of your car, of your home, of your career, of your desk, whatever it looks like, just know that you are in the vibration of what November is going to look and feel like. And do let me know in the comments below if this is a little bit of where you are right now. We are on the rise And this is so amazing. The thing is, we are on the rise. But what that means is everything has to come to the surface and everything really does need cleaning on the journey. You know what it's like when you move the couch out the way, you've got to hoover it, don't you? And you need to clean the skirting board behind because there's dust and there's things that have fallen down there months maybe even years ago. And that is what is happening now. We are going to be looking at structures. We are going to be looking at systems. We are going to be looking at relationships, absolutely everything. It is time to clean and it is time to cleanse. And I'm probably going to say that a few more times during this video, just to let you know. We are going to be seeing everything so very clearly with our intuition. We are going to be reaching depths that we have never got to before. We are going to be having conversations with people that we never thought we would be having. And I'll be honest with you, since I've since I've got back um, to the UK, I'm having conversations that I never saw coming. And I am proud to say that I'm psychic and extremely intuitive, you know, and I'm like, wow, I did not see this coming. Like I saw it coming, but this conversation, not at all. So please do recognize and acknowledge yourself and reward yourself. And I don't mean with sweets, but reward yourself when your intuition kicks in and you're like, wow, well done. Thank you for listening. You know, because this is how we get more gifts from the universe by doing this. I'm excited to say that the final purge is in flight and we are getting to look at everything right now. You know, it's really been quite a big weekend for people um, changing relationships and changing things in their lives. So I just want to bring that into your consciousness that there are so many things going on at the moment. So do not judge yourself. If you find yourself in a period where maybe your partner's moving out and you're a little bit emotional or you're on a deep cleansing because of that, So just really, these orbs are crazy, right? (laughs) We must recognize that we do not need to feel bad. We do not need to judge or anything like that. It is time to feel and release. We are learning what it looks like to feel and actually care about ourselves. Listening, feeling and hearing what we choose for ourselves rather than prioritizing everybody else above us. How many of you out there smash the love heart for me or the big thumbs up button? How many of you out there have prioritized somebody else above yourself at some point in your life? Like we've really done it right. We've really been conditioned to believe that that is the way that we need to live our life. 
It's time for us now to really level up to who and what we really are. It's about remembering who we are now. There is no more pretending. You will get caught out for being anything other than yourself. It's about authenticity. It's about remembering. It's about feeling. It's about really allowing us to be. And you know what? If this person's behavior is not okay with you, explain it from a place of love and then do something about it. Don't keep holding it against them. Do something about it. You know, we're not all meant to be the same. We're not all supposed to deal with things in the same way. But if we mess up, it's our it's our absolute um you know, God given gift to be able to apologize. It's a really beautiful time whereby we can actually take responsibility for ourselves and people will forgive us, believe it or not. If you mean it and if you apologize in a beautiful way, people will absolutely forgive you and you will be able to move past things. So like take the initiative to have those conversations. That's my encouragement to you guys. This new moon is going to bring a lot of desire for justice. There will be a lot of power. Think about what's going to go on in um, America over the coming week or two. I see America changing forever, forever through the period of the next like three months. Justice is going to go to a new level. Power, protests. I said this in the November energy, so I'm not going to go too, too deep in that, but expect it to be noisy. Expect unraveling of deceit. And I mean, in your personal life, I mean, in the people that you follow, the influencers, the celebrities, the, you know, the the politicians or the governments, all of that. Just expect a lot of drama. And if you expect it, doesn't mean you have to get involved in it. If you expect it, you can deal with it with ease and grace as and when it comes up. There is going to be a reevaluation of beliefs in a big way like what do we believe is it is this true to us do we really care about this if we don't why are we investing in it why are we giving it energy there are a lot of things that are taking place out there at the moment that we are giving energy to that we absolutely should not be giving energy to it's our responsibility now we cannot be blaming people if we are you know giving them the energy to do what it is that they're doing remember anybody connecting with that is giving something drive okay The reason we are needing to reevaluate our belief systems and set some standards and our values is because we are going to be bringing balance to the mind, body and soul. And it is a choice, my friends. It is an absolute choice. Creative juices and creative flow are gaining momentum in this period because we are recognizing who we are. We are literally setting the tone of who and what we want to be. And then the body and mind and soul is coming into balance. So, of course, that brings our passions up, which bring the creative juices and the creative flow into existence. The new moon is going to feel like walking in treacle initially, but if you keep on keeping on, you are going to be rewarded, my friends. I like that. Keep on keeping on. I like that a lot. Relationships is what this new moon is going to be about. This is the relationship with self. This is the relationship with loved ones. This is the relationship with friends, things, intimate relationships. You are going to have it slapped into your face exactly how your relationships are. And they are a reflection of who you are and the way that you show up. If you think somebody is being selfish, it means you're being selfish. If you think somebody is being cold, you are being cold. So recognize this, deal with it, work with it, be kind, be loving, be whatever it is that you want to you want to receive back. We are choosing what it is that we will manifest. There will be no more settling. We will get shaken to our core if we're saying, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this head in the sand kind of behavior. We're going to get shaken to our core. We're going to find out the lies. We're going to find out the mistruths. We're going to find out about cheating and deceit and everything. So it literally breaks us to the point where we have to be authentic. There's going to be some amazing conversations to rebuild um, relationships over the course of the next couple of weeks, which I'm really excited about. Allow those to take place, but do expect there to be some tension as they do. There will be some grief in this area because as we like set our standards, set our boundaries, you know, set the tone for things, of course, it becomes a little bit challenging and we, you know, have a bit of grief. We have a bit of upset. We have to let go of things. We have to forgive. So do expect this. 
We must remember what we require so that we can move forwards with ease and grace. So if you require honesty, be honest. If you require loyalty, be loyal. And then you will get that back. But you might have to cut a few cords and and have a little bit of heartbreak to, to lead into that, if that makes sense. Love is so important. I say it all the time. Love is the answer, no matter the question. It doesn't matter how angry somebody is with you. It doesn't matter what they've done. Love is the answer. It doesn't mean that you have to put up with it and stay there, but love is the answer, no matter the question. Our voice is going to assist in the evolution of this area. Be compassionate, be loving, and recognize where people and you are self-sabotaging. You decide if you are willing to have this in your life and going forwards, full stop. Security, um, sorry, insecurities are massively coming up for healing under this energy. So talk kind to yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself, offer yourself self-care. Now, self-care to me looks like isolation, alone time, meditation and grounding. (laughs) Just so you know, that's my self-care. Self-care to you might be going for a massage. It might be talking to your loved ones. It might be physical touch. It might be any of those things. So figure out what self-care is to you and then go do that. There is going to be a period of overwhelm during this new moon. We are going to feel like we're going up against it. We are going to feel overwhelmed. We are going to be seeing things and reveling in the glory. Do expect it to be social, though. Like, it's been such a magical weekend for me personally. It's been amazing to hang out and be social and love. I haven't loved like I have done this weekend in as long as I can remember. Like, I have not stopped laughing, like, to the point I've been bent over in shops, like, crying because I've been laughing so much be around good people, be around your people, be around the people that you love and that you trust and that really will support you on this journey. And turn the mirror on yourself. What is required to change within you? What do you want for your life? Okay, if you want that, are you being it? recognize what is to change. And I'm going to come back to that in the um, exercise that I'll give you at the end of this. The spiritual awakening is going to continue on a mass, mass scale. There are going to be these new waves of spiritual shifts taking place. Now, obviously, because we are in a period of time right now whereby people are fighting for their position in society, please do be aware of anyone that is projecting this energy that they are better than you. This kind of like know-it-all attitude um, is, is surfacing, and this is a time for internal shifts. If you get this, they don't know what they're talking about. Ask yourself, like, what is coming up in me that I feel I need to say that? Even if you don't say it publicly, if you're saying it to your head, you know, what is going on within you that you feel insecure as to what they are saying? Why do you feel you need to be seen? Why do you feel you need to be heard? Go share it on your platform kind of thing. Do you get what I mean? That, that Just look at that. So it's about creating a calm, loving connection to self. Now, the way that I do this, I'm not saying this is the only way, but the way I do this is via breath and meditation. I'm doing some really beautiful breath and meditation exercises at the moment. It's a time to feel. It's not a time to ignore anymore or to sweep things under the car the carpet. Ask any of my members on the Self Love Club um, program. They are doing amazing, by the way. They are feeling now more than they've ever felt before in just two months or just under two months, actually. But what they've learned to do is to just feel and sit without having this desire to fix and to change. Sometimes all we need to do is literally just acknowledge them and let them be felt and let them be heard so that they can pass through. This is such a beautiful gift to us and we can choose this under this new moon energy. Now, on top of that, if you can find someone who will hold space for you, for those feelings to pass through you, that, my friends, is the most remarkable feeling you will ever have. Take some time to look back on this year. We're getting ever so close to the end of the year now, and it truly is a time to look back and see any patterns or any themes that have been present. Karma 
and lessons are required to be seen right now. They are there to be felt and to be heard right now in this now moment. So ladies and gents, that is the energy update for the new moon. However, I'm going to give you a quick exercise if you are up for it so that you too can get really aligned to this energy. So if you don't have a pen and paper, please do um, run off and go and grab one or put the video on um, pause and we will get started. So as always, whenever I ask you to do um, a, an exercise around this, we are going to cleanse our aura. And as we do this, we're just going to say, please remove any heaviness that has been in my auric field that has been holding me back. Then we're going to do the same with our space. So please remove anything heavy from my space that has been holding me in a space of living in the past. Now, what I personally would do is I would set up some candles, I would set up some crystals, I would have some music going and I'd really, really create a beautiful safe space and sit or lay down and do a 13 minute meditation. And in this meditation, ask yourself, what are my fears? What heaviness am I holding on to? Resentment, hurt, anger, shame, guilt, anything like that. Just look at those for 13 minutes. And then when you come out of the meditation, write down on a piece of paper, everything that you need to remove and everything that just needs to go. And on a second piece of paper, look at yourself, self-reflect. And how can you give yourself the self-love, the self-care to basically allow these things to disappear and these things to really, really come into your life? with a whole new speed. My friends, that is the November new moon, the first of two new moons I hasten to add, energy update for 2024. I'll see you in the next video.